Have you ever wondered what it felt like to be the first person on the moon? Let's embark on a captivating journey back to the summer of 1969, a time when humanity achieved one of its greatest feats, landing a man on the moon. Our story begins with Neil Armstrong, a courageous astronaut who became the first man to step foot on the moon. Can you imagine the excitement and anticipation that filled the air as the world prepared for the launch of Apollo 11? It was a momentous event that had everyone on the edge of their seats. But it wasn't just about the thrill. Behind the scenes was an incredible amount of meticulous planning and rigorous training. Every detail was carefully thought out, every possible scenario was practiced and prepared for. The mission was a testament to human determination and the power of teamwork. As the countdown began, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins strapped themselves into the spaceship, ready to make history. Imagine being catapulted into the vast, unending space, a journey no one else has ever made before. Picture this, you're aboard Apollo 11, the first manned mission to the moon. It's not just a simple trip, it's a voyage filled with complex maneuvers and calculations. Navigating through the vacuum of space is like threading a needle in a haystack. It requires precision and expertise. Every minute detail matters. The team back on Earth and the astronauts on board are working in perfect harmony, guiding the spacecraft towards its ultimate destination, the Moon. The tension builds as the lunar landing approaches. Everything has to be just right. One wrong move and it could all be over. But the astronauts are well prepared. They've trained for this moment. Then, the relief. The Eagle, the lunar module, touches down on the Moon's surface. The mission is a success. And then, the moment everyone had been waiting for. Houston, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. What does one say when stepping onto an entirely new world for the first time? This question raced through Neil Armstrong's mind as he descended the ladder of the lunar module, the Eagle. His boots touched the moon's surface, kicking up a cloud of lunar dust. The world held its breath as Armstrong, encapsulated in his spacesuit, took that first historic step onto the moon. And then he spoke those famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What did he mean by that? Well, his step, while physically small, represented a massive achievement for all of humanity. We had reached beyond our own planet and set foot on another celestial body. It was a testament to human ingenuity, courage, and the spirit of exploration. As he planted the American flag into the lunar surface, Armstrong knew he had made history. It was a moment that would forever be etched in the annals of human achievement. How does one leave such a monumental moment behind and return to normal life? Well, after their historic moonwalk, the astronauts of Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins began their journey back to Earth. The complexities of space travel didn't end with stepping onto the moon, oh no they had to navigate their spacecraft back through space, re-enter Earth's atmosphere, and land safely. Upon their return, a worldwide celebration awaited them. People all over the globe rejoiced in the success of the mission. The moon landing was not just an American victory, it was a triumph for all of mankind. The impact of this event was immense. It changed our understanding of space, showing us that the seemingly impossible was indeed possible. It inspired countless individuals to dream big, to reach for the stars, and to never stop exploring. Though they returned to Earth, the mark they left on the moon and on human history was indelible.